It kind of sounds like nails on a chalkboard. Hello everyone and welcome to an extra midweek video and that's because the other day I was scrolling through my phone and I came across this art material that I'd never seen before. I was completely unfamiliar with it and I really wanted to try it out. So hopefully it'll be interesting, hopefully you'll be interested in it and it just might be my new thing. I'm all about new experiences here, trying new things out and seeing if I like them. Okay, so these are the Chinese ink sticks that I bought and it's a little pack of five colors and it costs £9.60 and I think they look super interesting. They look very colorful and I'm just very curious to see what they'll actually be like on paper. It says that these solid colored ink sticks are traditionally used for calligraphy and Chinese brush painting. To create ink from the stick, it needs to be continuously ground against an ink stone to grind up the pigment and then a small quantity of water is added in order to make the ink. This ink can then be picked up with a brush and used directly onto a surface. Also, I didn't realize that there's a reason why there's a red, yellow, green, blue, and white. So it says these five colors have significance with Chinese culture. Red corresponding with fire symbolizes good fortune and joy. Yellow corresponding with earth signifies neutrality and good luck. Green and blue is generally associated with health, prosperity, and harmony. And white corresponding with metal represents gold and symbolizes brightness, purity, and fulfillment. So that's really interesting that the colors actually mean something something and that's why they're presented in this little pack together and it says that obviously the colors can be used on their own or mixed together to create new shades and tones which I'll be trying out as well and going back up a bit to where it said that it needs to be continuously ground against an ink stone to grind up the pigment I actually bought one of these as well so I bought this ink stone for five pounds and ten pence and it says that this natural ink stone has a flat surface for grinding instinct inks oh my god instincts I can't talk today everyone it's no different to any other day, to be fair. And it says this natural ink stone has a flat surface for grinding ink sticks into liquid ink. Fill the well, the deepest end of the ink stone, with a little water. Drag water from well onto the plane, the flat area, and then rub the stick on the stone plane to produce ink particles suspended in water. I'm also assuming you could probably skip the grinding stone thing. I don't think that's essential. I think you could just grind these little sticks against any surface to get the pigment off and to add water with it. But I bought this because I wanted the full experience. I wanted to experience these materials exactly how you're supposed to experience them. Okay, I'm excited. Let's dive in. Okay, so this is how the two little packages came. This one's the ink stone, I think, because it's way heavier. So this one must be the ink sticks. We'll open the sticks one up first. Ah, oh, they're so nice. They've got like dragons on them. They look super ornate. Like how nice is that? I think that's some of the fanciest packaging I've ever seen. And these weren't that expensive either. Look at the box as well. Like that, that's a nice box just to put your little ink sticks in. Ah, oh, keep that. I couldn't take a photo of that. I like it so much. Right, let's open up this grinding block. Okay, yeah, so it's got a flat, shallow side and then a deep kind of beveled, kind of like a swimming pool when you've got a deep end and a shallow end. It's kind of like that. It's very heavy. It's really heavy. I think they said it was made out of stone. So what I think I want to do first is swatch all of these colours and then I can put that to one side and let them dry just so we can see what they look like wet and see what they look like dry. And then while they're drying, I'll have a play around and just funny about with it really. I'm going to be swatching white on white which doesn't make much sense. Do I have any black paper? I've got a dark blue bit of paper so we'll test the white on this. I might put the white on white as well just to see what it's like because looking at it it almost looks grey or creamy looking. It doesn't look like a brilliant white does it? Ah I thought that was inside the packaging. So that dragon's actually on the sticks and then I'm assuming that's some sort of Chinese writing which I can't read because I don't know the Chinese language. That's so cool. So, what I read is you just grind it onto this shallow part. I'm just going to double check I'm doing that right. That didn't seem right. To create the ink from the stick, it needs to be continuously ground against an ink stone to grind up the pigment and then a small quantity of water is added to make the ink. So I am doing that the right way. It just doesn't feel like I'm doing it the right way. I'll keep going with it, see what happens. I'm doing something wrong. I have to be. Do I have to add water first? These ink sticks as well, I thought they were going to be quite, I don't know, a little bit softer. They're absolutely rock hard. I feel like I've just gouged some of this rock out. I'm just going to have a little check. Okay, so after doing a little research, I think you have to add water onto here first. And then you grind the ink stick onto the water. Let's try that. This is hard work. 
the thing is, I feel like that's a colour, but a lot of the blacks come off of the stone. I don't feel like that's supposed to happen. I'm going to swatch that just to see what it's like. I, I feel like I've done that wrong. I've done that wrong because that's like brown. I don't know what I'm doing wrong though. I'm just gonna watch another video. This person adds the water first. Yeah, and then they just grind the ink stick into it and it looks really easy. Why am I making it look so hard for? They do it flat side down though. Let me try again. I'm gonna use a lot more water. And I think they do they did it like oh I'm such an idiot. I was doing it on an angle, and you don't do it on an angle, you do it like this. I can feel it already, it feels softer. I'm such an asshole. Right, let me clean this up. I'm gonna start again. I will get there in the end. Oh, this feels better already. Yeah, it's not hard work at all. I just made it look like hard work. It's in fact very, very easy. I suppose as well the good thing about this is you can make your ink as concentrated or as diluted as you want to. I'm not a fan of the sound though, the scratchy sound. It's kind of grating on us a bit. It kind of sounds like nails on a chalkboard. Okay, so I'm just gonna try that, see what that's like. I still have a feeling some of the black is coming off the stone onto the ink. Just swatch it. It doesn't look very pigmented, does it? There's like no pigment that I feel like I've swatched water. Maybe white's just not a very good colour for it. What about if I swatch it like this? I don't know, I don't think the white's in... I'm gonna try the other colours. I'm gonna put this experience down to the white stick not being as good as the other colours. Because I'm, I'm struggling with it. I should have started off with a different colour. It's just, it, everything's just coming out brown. Try this again. Okay, so I've got a bit of water in here and I'm gonna try the blue one this time. See if I get any more luck. It takes so long, it really does. Like to the point where I feel like I'm doing something wrong. For the videos and everything else I've watched, this is what they do. It's getting there. Some blue's coming off, but like, I can tell it's such a weak colour. Right, I've been grinding that one for about five minutes. And surely five minutes is long enough to get a decent swatch. I just hope you've got like, some sort of pigment here. But I have a feeling you're not going to. Okay, it's very, very subtle. It's nice. It's It looks kind of like a watercolour paint, but I was expecting the colour to be a little bit more concentrated. It's very, very washy. I would, I would describe it as washy. Maybe that's what these are. They're quite like a washy material. I don't know. For some reason, I was expecting... I don't know. I was expecting it to be a bit more vibrant. Because, like, if you look at the actual colour of it, and that's what you get. I'm just wondering if you can do it like this. I wonder if that'd be better. No, that doesn't seem to even get any colour off either. It just it's just the same. See, that's the kind of colour I was expecting to get. This nice dark blue. Like, they're the swatches. It's nice. It's it's ni a nice colour. But it's very, very, very washy. Shall I try the other colours? It takes forever. I might as well since I've got them. I don't know how I feel about this, though. I'm a bit underwhelmed. <laughs> okay, let's see what this red one's gonna be like. I just tried to look online as well to see if I could find any paintings that people had done with these Chinese ink sticks just so I could see what they're actually like and I couldn't really find anything like I found a few things and I think it's just a very that medium I think I had a different expectation of what these were going to be like and I think that's why I'm a little bit disappointed in it but that's my own fault I suppose because you shouldn't go into something with high expectations or different expectations and then it be completely different to what you obviously expected I'm, I'm really trying to keep an open mind with this I'm fighting with myself inside because I want to give it a chance Try this red out anywhere. I'll put a little less water in, see if that'll help. Okay, let's give this red a quick swatch, see what this is like. I feel like this might be a little bit more concentrated, actually. I was wrong. It's not more concentrated at all. So that's what the red swatches look like. I don't know, I feel like you could get a better range using a watercolour palette. It feels like a watercolour paint, but just a watercolour paint that is incredibly limiting as to what you can do with it. And I'm struggling because I don't want to shit on anyone's culture in this video, and I'm really trying not to, and I don't want it to come across that way. But I just, I, I just don't like it. I really don't like it. I think a watercolour paint palette would be a million times easier to use. You would get a better range of colours, tones, and 
intensities in the colour with these ink sticks you can literally only do that or that and that's it. That's all you're allowed to do with them. Or am I missing something? I don't know. I don't think I am. I've, I've really tried to push through and, and, and enjoy these but I'm, I'm not enjoying them. I'm really not liking them at all. We'll quickly go through the green and the yellow and then I'll see what I'm gonna do. <laughs> So I know I said I was gonna play around a bit more with these and figure out what they can do and stuff But like I just I can't I'm not feeling it But here are my swatches and I do actually think the colors are quite nice and it is a very subtle and soft paint or ink But like I said before you could probably get this with a watercolor paint palette And you could just have way more of a range with it and it would be easier to switch in and out of paints and stuff I like the concept of the ink sticks and I enjoyed trying something new But I don't think it's something I would personally personally recommend to someone Yeah, I just I just wouldn't I was gonna say something else, but there's nothing else, else I can say I just wouldn't however I may have potentially got a like a bad cheap batch of Chinese ink sticks These might not be kind of original Chinese ink sticks So the originals might be better than this There's also a great chance that I'm using them wrong I've done as much research as I possibly can and I feel like I was doing it the right way So I think if you are going to use these ink sticks, this is the result you're gonna get this very wishy-washy watercolor paint effect Effect. Looks lovely, but you could get exactly the same as this much easier with a watercolor paint palette That's what I'm kind of comparing it to in my mind yet I know it'll be obviously a very cultural thing probably is a very ancient thing So maybe that's why they are like they are I'm just really trying not to come across ignorant It's good for what it is and that's all I'm saying on the matter And I'm just gonna leave it at that before I get into trouble But let me know down in the comments if I am in the wrong if I'm missing something and I've just completely read this material the wrong Way. And for the price, they, w they weren't bad. Like, it, it wasn't a, like an awful thing. They were actually really cheap. Maybe that's why they weren't very good. Because they're just re like a really cheap art material. But regardless, if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you on Friday for a brand new video. And at least I got a really nice little box. The box is probably worth more than the ink sticks, isn't it? So, you know, it's not, it's not all doom and gloom. I got a nice box. <laughs>